my friends. <laughs> I'm back for a third round because I accidentally deleted the wrong one. In any case, we are here for my January TBR and it's going to be short and sweet because I'm going to be out of town for a week this month and so I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of time for reading. I am not participating in any readathons or reading challenges this month, so I'm randomly picking my books out of the ones that I own. Spoiler for my December wrap up, one of those is being rolled over from December that I didn't get to. And then the other two I'm just picking out of a pile. Another spoiler is for my 2020 wrap up is that I only read two nonfiction books all of last year. And while I don't have a huge amount of nonfiction books. If I keep going at that rate, it'll probably take me about three or four years to get through them. <laughs> so starting this month, as long as I can fit it in to my TBR, as far as if I'm not doing any readathons where a nonfiction wouldn't fit in, or if I just don't feel like reading a nonfiction, I'm going to try and read at least one nonfiction book a month. So I'm only going to be picking out three books this month because again I'm going to be out of town which means I'm not going to have a whole lot of time for reading that week which so that's a whole week that's basically going to be me not reading. So we're going to keep it short just to keep it a little bit more manageable and the book that I'm rolling over from December is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer. The second fiction book I chose randomly out of the pile is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. And the nonfiction that I chose is The Big Picture by Sean Carroll. If you remember from last month, A Crest So Dark and Lonely is a Beauty and the Beast retelling where one of the main characters is a a girl with cerebral palsy. The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman is the first book in the His Dark Materials trilogy. I don't actually know too much about this book. I've just heard some really good things about it. I believe it follows a young girl named Lyra, I think is her name, where she is trying to rescue her friend among other children who are being held in I don't know, a compound or by a government agency, I'm not sure, where it's suspected that they are doing experiments on children. So I believe she's trying to free them. And I think there's some inner world traveling and conflict maybe. And I think people in this world, or at least maybe one person in this world, have the ability to talk with animals. So that's always fun. And then lastly, I have my nonfiction pick, which is The Big Picture by Sean Carroll on the origins of life, meaning, and the universe itself, which I think pretty much sums up what this book is about. I, again, I know this is a short TBR, but hopefully it'll be manageable for me. I thank you for being here, and I hope that means I will see you soon. Thank you.